dears. How are you today? I hope you've been well and happy. I do realize the last video visit I had with you, I wasn't too chipper myself. I was a bit downbeat, wasn't I? <laughs> so today I am determined to be completely upbeat, and I mean that literally because we're going to have a sing-along. Won't that be fun? Of course it will. Now, I thought we would start warming up our vocal cords with something very simple we all know. I thought we'd do Home Home on the Range. Okay, just a few bars. Just get us started. All right. <clears throat> okay, everybody. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is... Deer and the antelope play, that always puzzled me. I mean, I know the deer around me don't play because they're much too busy eating all my shrubs and flowers. An antelope, do we even have antelope in this country? I've never seen one. Let's look it up. Let's find out. You know, the nice thing about modern life is you can look up any arcane and totally useless facts you, you want to. And uh, we'll just do a little, oh, bing, okay, fine. Wait, no. And wait a minute. Just hum along, keep going, keep going, warming up those, those voices. Okay. <gasps> we do have antelope. We have pronghorn antelope on the slopes of the Rockies in six states. Can you believe it? So how come I've never seen any? Oh, here's why. It says they're making a comeback after being almost eliminated by overhunting and habitat infringement. Well, habitat infringement, that's a euphemism for too many human beings. That's what that is. Huh infringement. Oh, just like we do with so many species, we drove them to the brink of extinction and then coaxed them back. But I'm getting a little negative, aren't I? <laughs> Let's do another song. <clears throat> There's one that's always uplifting to me and full of lovely imagery. And it should be our national anthem, but it can't be because I think we stole the tune from some hymn or some other nation's theme. So. <clears throat> it's, of course, America the Beautiful, and it truly is. Okay. <sighs> oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple... Waves of grain! I love that image. It really makes you think of the Great Plains. And, but you know what I read recently? That wheat is grown in almost every state in this country. Who would have thought? Almost every state. Although there was a chart and it said that around 2015 or so, there was a big drop in uh, production and it's held steady since then. So it wasn't anything like weather related or, or you know, supply and demand stuff. I wonder what they're growing instead. I'll bet it's that soy stuff they've been putting in all our processed foods for the last decade or more. And now they're telling us, oh, well, it's not quite as good for you as I thought. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe people are growing more grapes. Oh, my land, the vineyards are everywhere. You can't go five miles without seeing vineyards, vineyards, vineyards. And now, you know, with this Western states drought, oh, my land, those Grapes are probably shriveling into raisins right on the vine. Oh, it's really dreadful. They're even cutting the water to the farms. Did you hear about that? Do you know, like the Central Valley of, of California, where most of the fruits and vegetables and nuts for the whole country are grown, they're cutting the water. No wonder prices are going up. Have you been to the supermarket lately? Have you seen what's going on? Uh, and it's going to get worse before it gets better. Nana. You forgot to take your meds. Here you go. Oh, I forgot to take my meds. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You'll feel better soon. All right. Well, excuse me. <laughs> well. Okay. <clears throat> I have oh. something 
that'll cheer you up. I'm going to give you a makeover. Oh, um, I don't think so. this isn't really a good time. Oh, nonsense, Nana. Don't love it. Now. Well, I suppose we could consider it a tutorial. Yes. Now, let me see. And I see you brought a supply of your makeup. I'll have to get off that old, ugly, old lady stuff off. Oh, wait, but really, this is really... Okay, I guess we're doing a makeover. Now, I'll have to get some cleansing stuff to clear that poor old wrinkly skin of yours. Oh, oh well. But I earned these wrinkles. Well, your set-by date has passed, but I'm sure that your expiration date is... Expiration ex date? Oh, it's a it's a term of phrase, Nana. I'm I'm sure that you have some some good years ahead of you. You kissed a girl. What? <laughs> it's a song, Nana. The taste of her cherry chapstick. I kissed a girl and I liked it. Hope my boyfriend don't mind it. Did I put that in your eye? I guess I did. It's all right, oh. I have another one. I do. I have watched Alex do it multiple times. I know how to do this, all right? You need to trust me. No, I don't trust you. Where's the mirror? That hurt a little bit. I'm gonna tell mom that. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh. Okay, Nana, do you need more meds? I think I do. <laughs> You're looking fabulous. I think we're done. Uh, all right, well, ladies and wait, gentlemen. Wait, I need to do your hair. hair. No, well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you so much for being with us. I do hope this has been, um, well, <laughs> do remember to be safe, be kind, and be happy. <laughs> Bye. Go, Granny, go, Granny, go, Granny, go. She's gonna get a ticket now sooner or later because she can't keep her foot off the accelerator. I Ooh. didn't mean to make her this excited. Go, Granny, go, Granny, go, Granny, go. And everybody's saying that there's nobody meaner than the little old lady from Pasadena. She drives real fast and she drives real hard. She's the terror of Petaluma Boulevard. Ha, 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 ha.